Hi, my name is Roger. How are you doing? Today, it's about the vocals. I have showed you my template with stock plugins. We've gone roughly through the drums and the instruments, and today we're mixing vocals. <laughs> As you can see, I am a session set up as usual. I have made a loop so we can listen throughout the song. And let's listen to where we are at the moment. And so on. Let's listen to the lead vocal on its own. The only thing I know is that I don't know. Let's make it dry so we can really hear it. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough. I mm? Let's see if we need this parallel compressor. Is that I don't know enough at all Everywhere I go You can both see and hear that the compressor is pretty aggressive. The only thing I know Let's blend that in with the original vocal. The only thing I know Is that I don't know enough at all Everywhere I go Without it the only thing I know And with it The only thing I know It's hard to compare because it makes the vocal a bit louder also But can you hear that vocal moves forward? So let's listen to this vocal crush if we need it The only thing I know Is that I don't know enough mm, I have to adjust this EQ a little bit. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all. Everywhere. That's a sound I don't want to hear by itself, so let's blend it in. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all. Everywhere I go. So the lead parallel compressor makes the sound move forward and the lead crush makes the sound bigger. Not too much of either of them, but a little bit helps. Let's see if I can open up the top end a little bit on the lead vocal. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all. And also... The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all. Everywhere I dip one dB at one thousand three hundred hertz. That's okay. Let's see if we want a slap. The only thing I know is that I don't know. It it's a tiny bit too long. 120. Let's try 100. The only thing I know is that I don't know. That's okay. It's too much. The only thing I know is that I don't know. Without it. The only thing I know. And with it. The only thing I know... Yeah, just a shadow on the lead vocal to put it in the room more. Let's listen to some reverbs on the vocal. First, The Office. The only thing I know Is that I don't know enough at all Nice, a little bit too fat. 
but nice. So let's take this EQ after the re. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all. Everywhere I something like that, and a tiny bit lower. The only thing I know. Listen with and without, without. The only thing I know. Very dry, with. The only thing I know. More like you're singing in a room, a small room, but still a room. I will not use the room, I think, but I will try the short plate. The only thing I know. Is that I don't know enough at all. That's nice. I turn that off because I want to listen to the long plate. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all. Mm. I want to adjust the pre delay higher, maybe 60 ish. The only thing I know Yes, and make it less fat. The only thing I know Is that I don't know enough I That's cool, that's cool. I will take that down and listen to it with the short plate and then fill in with the long plate. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all Everywhere I go Yeah. A mental note is that I'm going to use the short plate on the verse and then fill in with the long plate on the chorus. Let's see if we need some delays. Here we have a mono eight delay. The only thing I know Is that I don't know enough Let's skip that. Here's a quarter stereo delay. The only thing I know Is that I don't know enough at all That's nice. Too much, of course, but that's nice. The only thing I know Is that I don't know enough at all Let's see if I need this ensemble thing. The only thing I know is that I don't know it. Lower the rate. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all. More voices, maybe? Four? The only thing I know. No, back to two. The only thing I know. Yeah, it's too much. Maybe that. The only thing I know is that I don't know it. Off. The only thing I know. On. The only thing I know. Yeah, it could be. Maybe a little, tiny little bit lower as well. Just to make it a little wider, a little softer. When we're automating, I will probably use this lead throw thing on certain words. So let's listen how it sounds. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough. A little bit too fat, and let's use the diffuse. The, the only thing I know. Is that I don't know? That's cool. That's cool. Let's turn that off and listen in context with the lead vocal. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all. Too much of the office. That 
that's okay. I will make a loop on the chorus because we're gonna listen to the background vocals on the chorus. Something like that. And I have dubbed my lead vocals. So I've made just a normal dub that sounds like this. And then I've pitched it an octave up. Which sounds horrible by itself. Uh, first of all, let's high pass them together. Let's make them dry so we can really hear them. Something like that. There's also some nose uh, frequencies, so I will adjust that track by track. First, the original octave. Dream of learning, dream of knowing. Dream of learning, dream of knowing. Yeah, maybe. And the octave up. Mm, this frequency hurts my eye. And this frequency is too fat. Together. Let's try an EQ at the end. Dream of learning, dream of knowing. I make them bright intentionally and take away a lot of low end because I want to hear them in the mix without taking a lot of energy from the rest of the instruments. Let's try some reverbs and things on this. Uh, the office, we can escape the room. That's okay. Try what is this? The hall. Try the hall. No. The long plate. Yeah, why not? And try a stereo eighth delay on this. We have the quarter on the lead vocal. I try an eight on these. It's okay. Uh, I think we can. I think we can uh, make the feedback, raise the feedback, so the delay lasts longer, and also lower the high cut a little bit. Yes, and lower the send. I will also try the wide things. If you don't know what that is, check out my template video. I explain them there. Wide one and one. Wide one and wide. Wide one. Wide what? Wide, wide one and wide two. Wide one is a delay. Wide two is sort of a chorus. So the delay. Chorus. Let's try and see if we can do just a little bit, but of both of them. Yeah, why not? In context with all the instruments. time I will raise them we take them away and 
with They do the job they're supposed to do. They make the chorus wider. That's good. The harmony vocals, the lead harmony, probably will not sound good on its own, but let's listen to it anyway. I told you. Let's parallel compress it a little bit. Take away a bit of that nose which was at 1,300 on the lead vocals, so probably the same. Dream of learning, dream of no A little bit higher. It was an high pass it more. Dream of learning, dream of no Yes. Uh, more reverb than the lead vocal, but the same kinds of reverbs, I would say. In context. That's okay, that's decent. We have some ooh harmonies at the end of the verse. These fellows, I'll set a loop so we can hear them. These ones. And I know that I recorded them too hot, so I will lower them right away. They are very dull, so let's high pass them first. And then on the EQ, open up the top end. Dip some mid-range. See if I can do it. See if I can make them even brighter. Without the EQ. And with. Something like that. And let's try the whole reverb on these. That's okay, but the whole reverb is too fat. I have an EQ after the compressor. I will adjust this low. That's much better. In context. Can you hear that the lowest harmony of them disappears when they are in context? They sound fine by themselves when I solo. So I have to adjust the volumes within this choir. This is the first harmony. The second. And the third. So I will have to actually raise the third one a little bit and because i sang falsetto on this one i think it is too fat and i could brighten up that individually a little bit and in context for me they sound like they have an equal volume now. Let's listen to the whole song and see if there's more adjustments we have to do before we automate. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all. Everywhere I go, I will start to run before.
it's okay. Um, the piano annoys me a little bit that I can't hear it. Uh, and it annoys me because I don't want it louder. I just want it clearer. So let's see if we can do something with that. So let's listen to the piano. Probably it's in the upper mid somewhere. I need to push the piano forward. <laughs> now raise the high mids 10 dB, which should be illegal. If I would have been more thorough with this mix, I would have recorded a new piano, which have more of the right sound from the start. But because the piano is not some main element of this song, uh, maybe we can get away with raising 10 dBs at 5000 Hz on the piano. In context. Yeah, now I can hear it, that's good. The B3 comes and goes in volume, I need to automate that. But otherwise, I think we have a decent mix that we can start automating, which we're gonna do next time I see you. So thank you for watching. I hope you found that interesting. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't like it, send me a message and tell me what I should do or what I could do better. And subscribe if you haven't. The Swedish word of today. I played some drums on this song. I played with these sticks. These are two different sticks from different brands even. But anyway, drumsticks in Swedish is trumstockar. Trumstockar. And Roger that.